Jordan, if I'm gonna go online, she too stubborn I instant block and delete Tell I got try them things that with some other man No girl can't style the jeep I'm not pressure nobody that time Hey best friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about, well I'm going to talk about an experience I had with a male. So basically this is a story time. It's nothing sexual or whatever. It's just, if you broke just say that. If you a bum just say that. Um, if you can't handle rejection, just say that. Like, I wasn't gonna talk about this, but something happened last night, with, including the person, but I don't think he knows that I peeped. So now, we're gonna talk about it, cause why are you moving like that? All right, so I gotta start from the beginning and then lead up to what happened, like, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. It was not long ago, the incident, it's not really an incident, the activity that happened, feel me? Earlier this year in January, bro, January. This dude that I went to high school hit me up. We gonna call him, we gonna call him Brokey. <laughs> For the sake of it, nah, we don't call him Brokey. We gonna be nice. We gonna call him, do I be nice? I don't even feel like being nice, but what are we gonna call him, guys? All right, we gonna call him Spanish class. Nah, that's too long. We gonna call him, we gonna call him Black Christ. Cause he is Haitian, so we gonna call him Black Rice. And him being Haitian is really a potential part in this video because honestly, I went to school with a whole bunch of Haitian men. So Midwood and the and the junior high school I went to, I, I know how Haitian men act. I know how they get. I have a lot of Haitian male friends. One of my two of my closest male friends are Haitian, so I know how they behave. And y'all not gonna tell me I'm bugging, cause I know every Haitian man does not act like this, but most of y'all, especially the ones that came straight from Haiti at a young age, probably, or the ones that came when they was teenagers, they do act like this. So, yeah, don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I damn, like, I know what I'm talking about. I've been around Haitians my whole fucking life, so, yeah. In January, Black guy sent me up, he was like, yo, is this me? And I was like, um, yeah, what's up? And he was like, oh, I've been looking for you on social media for the longest. I don't know why, because we was cool in high school. We had no problems. Like, we had a class together, but we never spoke outside of class. Like, I see you say what's up. We had a little convo in between class, and then that was it for the rest of the school year. Feel me? So, um, he was like, how I look different and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, I wasn't really trying to have a conversation with him. I accepted the compliment because I'm not rude. Then I didn't really answer back. And then, let me pause right there. I'm in these damn cars doing donuts on some of my window. In high school, I feel like I look the same. It's just that my body weight is different. Okay, so, I was 125 pounds from seventh grade up until I went to college. So I was 125 my whole time in high school. I probably gained about five five pounds. So 125, 130, I probably lost it, then gained it, whatever. So out of high school is when I started to gain more weight because I was actually trying to gain weight because I was tired of being 125. Like, sis, let's get thick. Come on, body, let's go. And I took a vitamin. You know what? I have a whole weight gain how I got thicker than a snicker video, and it'll be up here, up here, I forgot what side it's on. So I'm just linked that up there. So basically, that's it. Um, I gained about, we can say I'm like 180, I'm going down now, cause I stopped taking depo. For now, I'm definitely gonna get back on sis. But, so from, from high school till now, I gained about 60 pounds, right? I'm not mad at it, it looks very nice on me. I just have to tone my body, you know, it's always a video, and I'm still talking about it, but whatever. So he's like, I look different. I'm like, okay, is that good? Um, he's like, yeah, whatever, cool, I guess. So he asked me for my number. Um, I gave him my number. Well, he had my old number. He was like, did I block his number? Some bullshit or whatever. So then I gave him my new number because I had changed it, right? So he was just telling me how I look different, basically trying to catch up, like, oh, what's new? What you been doing since niggas graduated. Mind you, he's a year ahead of me, so 
I don't even think that's significant. But yeah, so he's a year ahead of me and he was asking generic questions like how you, how you been, what's your major, your favorite color, birthday, blah. So um, we talked like periodically. We was, I was never interested from the jump. Like I wasn't interested in him in high school and I'm not gonna be interested now. I hate men from the school you went with, they, they do that. Like all of a sudden, once y'all graduate, it's I've been wanted you in high school. Like, why didn't you open your mouth when we was in high school? Why did you wait four or five years later to tell me that you had this so-called crush on me? Stop fucking lying. Y'all know y'all didn't have no fucking crush on me in high school. Because y'all would have said it. Because y'all over here up on everybody else and was not saying nothing to me. Like, I was growing everybody up. I was not trying to be in no relationships with nobody in that school. So yeah, well, we in February now, cause we, he already had the whole like, how you been, what's your major, what school you go to, how you doing conversation, right? Excuse me, right. So now it's close to Valentine's Day and he was like how he wants to take me out on Valentine's Day. Um, I fake wanted to say no, but then again, I didn't want to only go to work on Valentine's Day, so he's like, you know what? Fine, I guess. So I was like, what like what do you wanna do? He was like, oh we can go to the movies. So I was like, so like we're just gonna go to the movies, we're not gonna like go out to eat. Like I was stressing to him that this is not a date. I just wanted to get food because I like to eat, obviously. He was like, yeah, we can get food and he was like, don't worry, I'll pay for it. Some some bullshit like that. And I was like, okay, nobody actually paid for it, but cool, on you. So, um, Valentine's Day comes and I remembered I had work from eight, it was either eight to four or eight to six, cause I know I had a long ass shift that day. So it was, it was one of them. I feel like I, I stayed a little later because he was like how he went to catch a six or seven o'clock movie and I had got home from work an hour before I was supposed to be at the movie theater. But mind you, I've been up since 6 a.m. So um, I like to sleep and I like to take naps. So, of course, when I wake up at 6 a.m., I'm definitely gonna take a nap when I go home. So, to be courteous, when I was about to get off work, I told him, I was like, yo, I don't think I'm gonna make it to the movies. Well, at least at 6 p.m. So, it, okay, let me pause right there. We are grown. Since when do we still go to the movies during daylight hours or when the sun is setting? It's strictly nighttime. Like, I love going to the movies at night. I don't know why. It's just something about going to the movies at night that's just a better vibe. You feel me? So, I told him out of respect, but yo, I don't feel like I'm gonna make it. Like, I just got off work. I'm tired. And I feel like he didn't respond to that. So, yeah. Mind you, he said he's gonna be at school from like 9.30 to 5.30. So a normal, like normal Caribbean people or Americans, people in general, I hope y'all all do this, but I, I know it from a Caribbean perspective that when you're out all day and then you're gonna go out, you're supposed to like go home, shower, freshen up, brush your teeth again, and then get ready and go out. Um, I always do that. Even if I'm home all day, if I took a shower in the morning and I'm about to go out at night, I'm gonna take another shower. I'm gonna brush my teeth again, make sure everything is, you know, fresh and new and blah, blah, blah. I just like to be fresh out when I'm gonna go out, feel me? Then he catches the attitude and because um, when I got off work, he was already on his way to the movie theater. But I'm like, I was fake confused because I'm like, you're not gonna go home and like shower first? You've been outside all day. Like you probably smell like outside. I'm not saying that he's dirty or anything, but I would just take a shower first. But that's the side of the point. I was like, I don't know why you're tripping. Like there's a whole movie at nine, at eight, and at 11. So I don't see the big deal. Why we can't just go see a later movie? So I'm like, okay, like since I'm about to take a nap, I guess if I wake up early enough, we could just get food and then go to the movies. And then he was like, no. I'm like, why not? Like, he was like, oh, I don't feel like getting food. We could just go and watch the movie. I'm like, okay, 
whatever. So at that point, I didn't even want to go nowhere with him no more. So I took a nap. I woke up at like nine o'clock and I didn't feel like going nowhere. And the cops showed up at my house. That's a whole different story that I'm not even gonna talk about. But if you my friend and you watch this, you know exactly why the cops came to my fucking house. So I dad didn't feel like going nowhere no more. It was just a whole, like, honestly, I feel like that was God told me do not go out with this man at all. Like, I even told him, like, when he was texting me in January, I told him, I was like, yo, bro, I do not like you like that. Like, not to be rude, like, I don't like you like that. Like, we could be friends like we have been, but I do not like you like that. I don't have feelings for you. I don't plan on gaining feelings for you. I do not like you in that way. I did not want you in high school. I'm not going to want you now. I do not want you. I don't like you. And I kept telling him this. I guess the Haitian in him just was not listening because Haitian men are very stubborn. Y'all are stubborn as fuck. Do you still have this hair? Is it still good? Oh, I'll go back to that later. <laughs> Here, come here, watch this sponsor me at. Yeah, the cops came and my mother had reservations to go out with my father that night, right? But she had to cancel it because he ended up working overtime and didn't come home until 12 or 1 a.m. on Valentine's Day. So we, so okay, I didn't go to Red Lobster, but I came up with the idea of like, yo, why don't we just order food from Red Lobster, go pick it up, set it up nice on the table. So all three of us could like eat together whenever daddy comes home. So she's like, okay, good idea. So I was really tired from work. I don't know why. I think because I worked all that week and that weekend. So when I have a day off the next day, I just be slumped. I sent her an Uber to go get the food after we tried like a hundred times to order online. The website was moving slow because they said everybody their grandma was trying to order. So I sent her an Uber and then um, I sent her one back and then and then I posted a status on Facebook. I was like somehow, somewhere I always end up at Red Lobster on Valentine's Day. Because for the past few Valentine's Days, I dead been at Red Lobster. I love Red Lobster. I don't care if y'all say it's for broke people or what, but I love me that shrimp alfredo with them biscuits and some buffalo wings on the side. I love me some red lobster. Just because I'm making this video and I'm talking about red lobster, I want to go to red lobster. I guess he's seen it because I totally forgot I had him on Facebook. I mean, I wasn't trying to hide it because, you know, niggas did end up at red lobster. You feel me? And then he was like, oh, if you, like, if you was going out with somebody else, you could have just told me that. You didn't have to leave me on. I was like, what? Nobody led you on if I told you from when you first hit me up that I am not interested in you. I do not like you. I don't want you. I don't want to be in no relationship with you. You do not pick my interest. I don't want nothing. I don't want no parts of you. And I told you, like, I was asleep. Like, when I sent my mother to Red Lobster, she woke me up out my sleep to get her an Uber. And then she woke me up out my sleep to get her an Uber. So, yeah, like I told you, I was like, I'm not gonna make it to the movie, so I did not lead you on. And if I was out with another nigga on Valentine's Day going to Red Lobster, that is none of your business, because you not my man. And he over here blacking on me, and mind you, that little altercation, argument that we had, that was the most I ever talked to that man, ever. Like, ever. Because I hear people, I hear people, like, they just do that whole assuming thing. I was like, bro, this ass. Just ask. You don't have to be over here in your bag, especially after I told you I do not fucking like you. I don't know how many times I had to tell him that I don't fucking like him, but we just getting started with this fucking story. So yeah, that happened when we got into the argument that he understood like, he's like, oh my bad, I didn't know. I was like, yeah, that's why you should ask before you start coming on my phone and with your emotions and shit. I'm not in my red lobster, I went to sleep, and then I enjoyed the rest of my weekend without him texting me. So, throughout the year, up until a couple weeks ago, he used to text me periodically talking about, oh, basically he's just been trying to take me out ever since January, and i just been dubbing it until a couple weeks ago. And honestly, I still should have dubbed it because of the bullshit that happened. So basically, um, he would hit me up talking about, oh, do you want to go here? Do you want to go to, first of all, he's like, do you want to go to the movies? Um, quarantine started, like, in, like, at, what, the end of February? 
the end of February or mid-February. It was one of them. I just know quarantine happened in February. So niggas couldn't go nowhere. We can't go to the movies. Movies been shut down. I don't think the movie theaters ever gonna open back up. And um I'm like, how are we gonna go to the movies? He was like, oh niggas could drive. I was like, drive where? The only like drive-ins I know are in Long Island and or Manhattan. And I'm definitely not gonna be in a car with you watching a movie in somebody's parking lot. That's a dub. And then he was like, oh, I'm gonna take you out before you get a boyfriend. And I was like, okay so he just used to hit me up like talking about like my body and shit okay so i posted this picture i was wearing this jumpsuit like a halter jumpsuit and it was like a v-neck it was, it was a type of cut if i could find a picture i'm gonna insert it somewhere over here over there it don't matter and you can see my sternum tattoo i have a tattoo between my boobs and my sternum and he was like oh um can i see your chest tattoo like, if I'm not mistaken, your chest up here and your stomach's down here, I was like, um, I don't have a chest tattoo. So then he, uh, he goes on Facebook, he screenshots the picture and he crops the whole picture and it leaves my breast there. I found that very weird. And he was like, can I see your tattoo? I was like, you can see it there in the picture. I wasn't gonna send him no personal pic, are you crazy? So I remember he asked me, if I had my nipples pierced, which I do, and I lied and said no, because then he's gonna be like, can I see it, can I suck it? And that's exactly what he did. He was like, can I see your piercings? How much piercings do you got? Does it hurt? Does it turn you on when people touch it? He's just an awkward nigga. Like, that's really why I didn't wanna go nowhere with him. I'm like, you're mad awkward, you're boring as fuck. I, I would not have a good time with you at all. At all. Like, I know in my spirit when I know I'm not gonna have fun with people, that's why I be dubbing like some of these most of these niggas that be trying to talk to me because y'all are, y'all just wanna fuck. Like, I know when niggas is the only wanna fuck. I grew up with a brother and all of his friends and all my male cousins. I was, I grew up around men, basically. I just see how shit be going on, I'm not numb. So, yeah, he always asked me about my tattoos. Like, when I got a new tattoo, I got a tattoo on my thigh, I believe, in May or June. Whenever it started getting hot outside, it was May or June, I got a tattoo on my thigh, and I remember he hit me up, told my old, oh, you got a nice tattoo, but your pussy is all out. Cause I, I wore shorts to the appointment. Well, I wore sweatpants, but I wore shorts under, so I wouldn't be like, you know, naked in front of the guy that was giving me the tattoo. Shout out to you though, cause I'm definitely coming to you for another tattoo. And so I'm guessing you can see like, my vagina, but it's not like I was trying to show it. He just recorded the tattoo that way. And yeah, like he just kept asking me shit about my body and we we're just gonna, and just kept asking me to go here and go there. He actually asked me to go bowling and I was like, no, I'm busy. Then he went to try again next week. No, I'm busy. He stopped for a while, asked to go to the movies again, asked to go out to eat. He still said, oh, I'm gonna take you out before you get a boyfriend. I, I. And I was just dubbing it for the past 10 months. So we're gonna speed up to a recent interaction with this male. During quarantine, I learned to love bowling again because as a kid, um, I went to private school and every year we went bowling. Every year, every during the school year, like we go on trips with the class, we went bowling. During the summer, we went bowling. Um, I never went bowling with my family. It was mostly just a school thing. So like periodically, I would go bowling. Like as I got older and I could go out by myself, I started going bowling. And then I realized that there is a bowling alley that serves drinks. Not far from my crib. And you know, since the girl was 22, I could get drunk legally outside. So when I found out about that place, I was like, oh, where to be lit? But that wasn't for him, it was just for me and my friends. He actually asked me to go bowling a day after I already went bowling. I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, I was tea. Like, wait. I had no hangover or nothing, but you know, I was just lit as fuck. So I was like, nah, I'm good. I did ask just went bowling now that you asked. <laughs> I still wasn't gonna go with him regardless. So, um,. The next week, he was like, okay, so we could try again next week. I'm like, boy, we're in November, October, November, 
and you're still asking me to go somewhere with you, like you are really persistent. Mind you, between January and now, I have told him I do not have no interest in him. I do not like him. I don't want to be in no relationship with you. I don't want to get to know you as much as I did in high school. I don't want to rekindle no spark. I don't like you. I was being so nice about it and that at a point I was being mean. I was like, yo, I really don't like you. Like, I don't know what you don't understand. What do you not get? That Deandra does not like you. Like, it's not going to happen. Okay? So, especially since I just got a lot of, well, it's not really a situation. I just don't want to deal with nobody's son. I just want to relax, do me. But I'm not going to knock down an opportunity. Like, if I'm feeling you, I'm going to be like, okay, maybe we could vibe or whatever. But if you do too much, I promise you, you will never hear from me or speak to me ever again. And that is exactly what happened with this nigga here. Me and my friend, we went bowling. And I guess the nigga peaked. And, you know... Me and my friend was smoking outside the bowling alley and he's there. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So the nigga that we with is at the bowling alley and I told my friend to bring like one of her friends. No, she said she was gonna bring a friend but the friend she was gonna bring flopped because he had something to do. He was just smoking and yeah, we was just smoking. And he's like moving around, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what's your issue? Then he was like, oh, I don't smoke and drive. I'm like, that's cute, but I don't know who you're trying to impress. It's about, we're gonna say 10.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30. This place closed at one, and I didn't plan on leaving until they're closed. So you could like take one pole. It's not gonna, it's not gonna um, deteriorate your driving type shit, you feel me? Yeah, and then I was like, that's what you don't do, then that's what you don't do. So, when we going inside the bowling alley, he's telling me like, oh, he's not paying for my friend. I'm like, I didn't even want you to pay for me, so you didn't think this was like a date. That's why she's here. Like, so you don't feel like this is a date. Her friend was supposed to come. I'm just, to this day, I'm mad that that nigga flopped. I don't even know the nigga, and the nigga flopped. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, yo. This is gonna be a doozy. Oh, when the time comes, they tell us how much everything is together and everything is $66. So 22, 22, 22. So I'm looking at him. I'm like, so are you gonna tell her to split it or not? Cause he over here looking at me. I'm like, you're a grown man, open your mouth. Are you gonna tell her to split it or not? So the girl, she was like, oh, he was like, oh, can you split it three ways? I'm like, but didn't you just say this pay? So, all right, that's, that's broke boy number one. So, we all paid for our games and our shoes and whatnot. And he was like, oh, since I paid, since y'all had to pay for y'all games, I'm gonna pay for the drinks. I was like, okay. So, they had us in the ghetto in Bowl 360, all the way to the side, like all the way at the end, all the way at the end. I call it the ghetto because ain't nobody was coming over to us, nobody was clocking us. Like the people that come around with like the menus and shit. I already know what I want. Every time I go to Bo360, I get my handy strawberry and I get me some wings and some fries. I might try to eat burgers next because I heard it tastes really good. But yeah, that's the that's what I point. Now I want to go bowling, see? Um, he buys the first round of drinks and when the girl comes back, um, I'll buy another one with my card and he's over here talking my oh. Why are you drinking so much, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, boy, I'm grown as fuck. Like, I know my limit. Leave me alone, stop clocking me. Like, I'm just getting annoyed because I didn't even wanna, I didn't even wanna see him, bro. Like, I just wanted to go bowling. And he over here in my face talking to me, over here touching me and shit. I'm like, don't touch me. Like, literally, he poked me and I looked at him like, what are you doing? Like, why are you touching me? So, when you go to, um, when you go anywhere, if you buy a drink, you have to buy food. So he was flabbergasted that he had to buy some fucking food. So he bought the platter. I wasn't mad at it, but I'm like, who said that we gonna eat all of this? You just wasted about $30 that you clearly don't have to buy a platter when you could have just bought some fucking french fries or some chips and dip for $2, you feel me? Like, don't be out here trying to impress bitches that got money 
um, and you know you don't have it, it's cool. Because the person that was supposed to come with us, my friend's friend, that nigga got money apparently. So, if he came, I feel like the night would have been a whole lot different and I would have been happier that night. So, we just there, we balling and shit. He keeps talking to me, blah, blah, blah. We go into the game, he tell me how I suck, cause honestly, sometimes, when I be balling, I dead don't give a fuck about the game. I'm just here for the drinks and the food and the laughs and a good time with my friends. During the game, the second game, I'm trying to sit down and eat. You know, I'm drinking, so I'm trying to like sober. Not really sober up, but you know, trying not to be out here doing too much in a bowling alley. I can handle my liquor, but you know what I'm trying to say. You know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. If you know what I'm trying to say, we can. He sits next to me and he starts talking to me. He starts talking about my tattoos again. And he, I remember he flipped my hair back and he was like trying to like stroke my back and I had to move his hand away. I'm like, why are you touching me? I was I was so close to be like, why are you even sitting next to me? <laughs> like, and I'm drunk, so when I'm drunk, I'm just like Like my face was so stink, like my friend even noticed. And I went over to her. I was like, yo, why is this boy next to me? I told him I do not fucking like him. So I'm confused on why he's even in my person, in my bubble, in my personal space. So I have a ripped jeans that night. So you can see my thigh tattoo a little bit. So he over here touching my thigh like this. I was like, don't touch me. Like I know I have a tattoo. So he got this little this little bum ass tattoo on his like little chest or whatever, little chicken chest, very right? chest or whatever. And he showed me, he was like, oh, if you show me yours, I'll show you mine. I'm like, I'm not showing you shit because I don't have a tattoo on my chest. I'm not lifting up my shirt for you to see my, for you to see my tattoo, you fucking weirdo. We in a fucking bowling alley. Even if we wasn't, I still wasn't lifting up my shirt for you. Are you out of your mind? Ew. <laughs> Ew. 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 He kept touching me, so I just got the fuck up and moved and I sat on my friend. I was basically, she was my boyfriend for the night, my friend. So the night is over and since her friend couldn't come, he had to drive us home. So he dropped my friend off at her, wherever her and her boyfriend was at and I got stuck with this nigga alone in his car. Thank God I only live like not like less than 20 minutes away from the ball and alley, so and I was drunk so I was just ready to like take a little nap and by the time I woke up I would be home. So he's over here telling me about how he drives like a granddaddy. So I was like, why are you driving so slow? And he took some back ass way from my house to Bowl 360. All you gotta do is hop on the belt, hop off, literally. You do not have to get off the highway. I mean, you gotta get off eventually, but like, you don't gotta take no back block to get there. You could just get off at, I forgot what exit is, whatever exit Rockaway is, and then we at Bowl 360 in like a couple turns around a few corners on the end. But he was saying some back ass block or whatever. That's why I stayed my ass weight. So, um,. Yeah, he was like, oh, he's driving like that because I got into a car accident. I was like, you can drive how you drive. The car accident was not the person I was with. Not regardless, whatever. Um, it wasn't his fault, so I don't really care how niggas drive. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be more like, I'm going to be watching y'all even more to make sure that no dickhead is about to hit y'all. But other than that, you can drive how you drive. I might get paranoid sometimes, but I'm not going to let y'all see that. But yeah, just drive how you drive. Don't use my incident as an excuse to take some back ass fucking vlogs. Like, no, cause I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna feel like you trying to kidnap me. And all both my two of my close friends are my location, so that's not going to happen. And he was talking about, oh, if I got a job and blah blah blah. I do have a job, but obvious for obvious reasons, I cannot go until I'm finished physical therapy and shit. So yeah, that's. Another thing, so he was telling me how he has no fucking job. He just don't feel like fucking working. So he's living off his savings account. Broke. I don't know say broke, but like, you just out here not working. You can work, you're just not doing it because you don't feel like it, giving me lazy vibes. 
that and he has this old ass wannabe g wagon ass bands i didn't even keep it with a bands to be honest because that's how old and dusty it looked like his windshield was dusty the car was dusty i'm not even trying to be rude it was dead ass mad dusty like it was dirty so he was like oh i don't wash my car because i want a new one he wants like a honda or some shit some bullshit i'm like bends to a honda I don't knock on this, not at all, because I was thinking about giving myself one, but if I already have a Benz, I'm just gonna get another Benz, you feel me? That's just me, not everyone is like me or thinks like me, so yeah. And I told him, I was like, yo, like if you want your windshield to stop, you know, being dirty, wash it, wash it, wash it. Like, just wash the damn shit. So, um, I'm home at this point, and he hits me up, um, I guess when he got home, but I was already slumped. I saw it in the middle of the night. He hit me in the middle of the night, talking about, oh shit, how'd I do? I'm like, what you mean, how you did? That's how, this was saying in my head, I was like, what you mean, how you did? This was an old date, nigga, and we're not going out again, because he was doing too much. Too fucking much. I don't like when niggas touch me, bro. Like, I don't like niggas in my personal space. I don't like niggas in my face. Only if I like you and, like, if we close friends and you could be in my face. Like, I hate it so bad. I hate when niggas even come close to me. I just be like, ew, why the fuck are you next to me? Like, I'm not rude or nothing, but, like, if I really don't have no feelings for you and we not close, don't come fucking near me. Like, my close my friends, they be bothering me and shit. I then don't care. But if it's a nigga... And I'm not close to that's like in my face or trying to be in my face or be like I'm gonna fight or like can I get a hug type of niggas no get the fuck out my face ew why are you in my face <laughs> like <laughs> yeah oh uh, he was like how on the on the way home while he was taking me home how he wanted to go to some secluded area and make out with me in my head I'm just like ew me make out with you our lips touching that would never happen dogs <laughs> yo i tell you y'all niggas is fucking bonkers bro because what me kiss you and i told you repeatedly i do not fucking like you so me being the nice person that i am i said no thank you and he was like oh is it because I'm ugly? He's not hit. He's not hurt. He's not hideous to look at. But he's just not somebody that I would put my lips on. And I was like, it's not that. I just don't want to fucking kiss you. Then he was like, oh, but we just making out. Everybody does it. I was like, who the fuck is everybody? Because I don't. If I don't like you, I'm not kissing you. Heck, I don't even kiss the nigga I do like. Ugh, like, I'm not, no, I'm not kissing you, boy. I'm not kissing you, honey. After he said that, I was really confused because I'm like, who the, who's the females that you talk to? Or like, you friends with, or like, just females in general, you barely know them. Are you just out here making out with them? Like, Mono's out here, Chlamydia, Gonorrhea, Herpes. Herpes, oral herpes, and you just out here putting your lip on them. No sock could never be me. Could. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. So I went on Instagram and I made a poll. I was like, so like y'all really be out here just kissing anybody for fun? Like about three people said yes, but one person I definitely expected it and the other person it was him and another person was someone I did not know. So he was like, oh, you see how some people said yes? I was like, you and two other people? And one who's a porn star? So of course he's out here kissing everybody. That's what he does. He gets paid to do this. He is a porn star. Well, he was like, oh, it's not that serious. I'm good, love. I was like, it's not that serious, but I was really inter interested to see if, like, sane people be out here kissing everybody. <laughs> 
So that was it. And then um, he was like, I expected you to be different in person, but you're still cute. That is what, it threw me off OD. I was like, what you mean? He was like, why do you care? You don't like me. I was like, facts, I don't. But like, if you're gonna say something, continue what you're saying. Don't stop being a man about what you're saying. <laughs> Talk your shit. He was like, oh, you're short. Okay, and? I've been the same height since like eighth grade. I'm five foot two. I'm not going nowhere. I'm 22 years old. And in eighth grade, you're like, what? 14, 13, 13, 14, or whatever. I've been the height, I've been the same height since I was fucking 13. If I did not move now, I'm not moving later. Then he was like, oh, you're chubby. That's what got me. It's the chubby for me. What you mean I'm chubby? You just over here calling me thick, thicker than sick, you thick, mama. Like, you talking about you wanna eat my ass. All of a sudden, I'm chubby, cause I dubbed you, even though I've been dubbing you this whole year, I'm chubby. I'm chubby. <laughs> Chubby? No, baby, I'm thick. Thick arms. I am thick as fuck. I am not nobody's motherfucking chubby. I didn't get offended, but I'm like, yo, it's really sad when y'all men, well, some of y'all men, like, y'all really out here calling me fat, chubby, big as fuck. When y'all was over here guessing, you're like, oh, yeah, you got nice and thick in all the right places. Let me eat it. And all of a sudden I'm chubby because I dubbed you. Stick to your word. If you thought I was chubby from the jump, you should have said, girl, you chubby from the jump. Like, I don't really care what niggas say about me because who the fuck are y'all? <laughs> who the fuck are you to tell me? To make me feel like I'm less of a person because you think I look this way. I don't give a fuck if niggas or bitches call me ugly because at the end of the day, I know that I am the baddest bitch on this planet because that is me. Some people, they might call me fat because I did gain a lot of weight, but it's not like I'm over here heavy as fuck, can't walk, breathing heavily when I walk up one stair. I gained weight. Y'all act like niggas don't gain weight. You know what's crazy about that statement is that he got big from high school. This nigga was a twig. And now he over here with like a belly that hangs over when he sit down. My belly don't hang over when I sit down unless I ate before that. Cause I get bloated after I eat. I get very bloated, it's disgusting. You know what's crazy? On Halloween, he hit me up and I wore this costume, this fighter costume or whatever. And he was like, I'm not gonna lie. If I, if I could find a screenshot, excuse me, pardon me. I'm gonna put it right over here. He was like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm paraphrasing here. I would love to take that costume off you, but yet I'm chubby. He was like, can I see the back? But yet I'm chubby. Come on now, you like, you was feeding over here. You was looking desperate and dumb. Like, even after I told you repeatedly I don't fucking want you over here talking about how you wanna take my costume off of me and you wanna see it from the back, I did not answer him. And he was like, oh, I get left on red. I was like, my mother said, if I don't got nothing nice to say, then do not say it at all. So I did not respond to you. I'm being nice here. But now I gotta be rude because now you wanna call bitches a thick bitch, a thick, a beautiful brown bitch like me, ugly. You lost your mind. He was like, how I led him on and whatnot. I was like, sir. How am I leading you on if I told you repeatedly that I do not mother like you? I don't like you. I don't want no parts of you. I don't want to kiss up on you. I don't want to have your babies. I didn't even want to go bowling with you. True, true word. I did not want to see you at all, but yet here you were. Oh, like I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what is in the air, what is in the Rona air, what is in the water that he is drinking. What is, what is in the flat bush water? Like, y'all are just so, <sighs> yeah. So then he was like, oh, um, he said some bullshit about how I like abusive niggas and how you just gonna let a good nigga go to waste. I was like, if he was so much of a good nigga, why was you chasing someone that told you how many times that they do not fucking like you? What What's the point? If you, like, I was like, you're a lonely ass, desperate ass, annoying ass, boring ass nigga. If you were on my dick from January to now, and you're now realizing that I don't like you, what? Like I told you in the most blunt way possible, I am not interested in you. I do not like you like that. We can just be friends. I do not like you. I told him this at least three times a month, and now all of a sudden you wanna get it through your dumb ass head that I don't like you. What? Boy, like, 
Mm. So I blocked him because he was like, oh, not all day. I like abusive niggas because me and my ex got into some altercation. I was tight about that because I never thought in a hundred years that would ever happen to me. So I told him about it. This because he kept asking me about it. Like I didn't, yeah. He kept asking, so I just told him like what happened between me and my ex, and then he brought it up because I guess he was feeling spicy that me and my ex was together and we wasn't, even though I told him I don't like him. <laughs> I don't get it, bro. I blocked him on everything after I sent my piece. I was like, I hope your mother and your sister gets beat, gets beat up by some nigga since you wanna bring up my old shit that don't got nothing to do with anything. You're just tight because I don't want you and that you're a broke ass bum ass lazy ass don't got no future ass boring ass don't got no that's it period period so when i open my macbook i see this long ass paragraph and i he screenshotted the shit I posted on instagram about how niggas need to die because why y'all always bringing up old shit that don't got nothing to do with y'all and I was like, you were supposed to see it. I don't know why the fuck you screenshot shit and send it back to me. The fuck? So I didn't really read what he said because I didn't give a I just wrote my piece once again. I was like, he. I caught a glance of what he said because I did ask and I read it. But I caught a glimpse of what he said and he was like, oh, you're this man because I figured you out. Figured what out? I've been told you I don't like you. Like, how many times I gotta say like, I, I must, you know what was my problem? I probably should have wrote it in Creole and said it in Creole and then maybe he would have understood what the f I was like, you're still a bitch ass nigga, don't know why the fuck you're still talking to me, you're a dub, you've been a dub, I don't like you, still don't like you, never will like you, get a life, and your mother and your sister is gonna get beat the fuck up since you wanna talk about niggas beating me up. Like, my thing is that he was acting like me and this nigga was going at it, like he was just beating my ass for no reason, like I came home, like, you know the Tyler Perry movies that's really getting abused out here. Like, I don't joke around with that type of shit because like shit like that could really happen and it could be worse. Really out here, unfortunately getting their ass beat by their partners, their husbands every single day. And that's not cute, that's nothing to joke on. Even if you are mad, there's nothing to really joke on because I didn't get my ass beat every day. I got into an altercation one time and that was really it. That was it. Like shit happens, of course, but I'm not out here being like, like I step into the room and there's a belt in my face, a nigga hitting me and some shit like that. Like, no, that's not what happened. So yesterday, we're gonna jump to yesterday from like a couple weeks ago to yesterday. I'm watching Netflix on his account because he gave me his Netflix account to use even though I told him, I even told him I don't want your password because I don't like you and I don't want you to think that this is me like, oh, okay. He's giving me his password, so he's in. Like I told him, like nah. Even after you give me your password, I'm still not going to like you. I'm not gonna link you. I'm not gonna do anything with you because I do not. Like you. So yesterday, it kept signing me out. You feel me? So I'm like, is this nigga trying to change his password? Now, like you wait so long to change your password. I was like, he's trying to be petty. Why are you trying to be petty? Like, just let me use on Netflix, buddy. <laughs> like, you already gave it to me even after I told you I don't like you. So now because I blocked you is your excuse to, you know, change your password? So it kept signing me out, right? And I just kept putting the same password and it was working. So I was watching Girlfriends, even though I seen it, I rewatched it about twice until I found something else to watch. And it signed me out completely. So ever since last night, I've been trying to like hack into his shit and I almost got it, but I gotta do it again. The government don't come for me. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's the only reason why I brought this up because last night he did change his password. I was like, wow, you a low down dirty bastard for that. You couldn't just let me rock with the Netflix? Like, whatever. So that is my story time. And yeah, that was, an experience. Men are delusional. Very delusional. But it's all right. Cause now, I'm not gonna talk about it ever again cause I already did the story time. Like I've been forgot to do this, but when that whole Netflix thing happened, I was like, yeah. It's like, I gotta tell this. That's pretty much it 
So thank you guys for tuning in to this long overdue and lengthy story time about if you broke, just say that. <laughs> um, bye y'all, see you in the next video. And if you want me to do more story times, let me know. Um, here come these if you watching. I'm sending you girls some hair. And yeah, bye, see y'all in the next video. Love you. Full of young, 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 young